I'll go over this one just for Zach. That's why we're getting your CD charts. That's okay. Yeah. All right. Um, on this problem, what they're asking us to do is to determine the vertical asymptote, uh, the domain, and also to see if there's a horizontal asymptote. Uh, so for this problem, guys, there's a couple things we need to first remember. We need to look. We have a rational function, so we need to remember how to find the domain. Well, remember to find the domain is going to be all the function, all of the values of x that are going to define our function, and. So one thing we know about a rational function is you cannot divide by zero. So whatever values are going to make our function zero on the bottom are not going to be defined in our graph. So again, to find the domain, let's just set the bottom equal to zero. So now I say zero equals x plus one. I solve for x. That means x equals negative one. So therefore, my function is not defined when x equals negative 1, meaning you can't have negative 1 for your function, right? Because negative 1 plus 1 is 0. You can't divide by 0, right? So how do we represent that if we we're going to be looking at a graph? Well, how you look at this is at negative 1, you can't have a value, right? There's no value at negative 1. So what we have is we have this little dotted line, which we call our vertical asymptote. Right? So that means we're going to have a vertical asymptote here. Um, to find the horizontal asymptote, there's three little kind of uh, rules we work on. All right, we can have, um, so what we have is we have a polynomial up top and we have a polynomial on the bottom. And for each one of these polynomials, we have a, uh, let's just call it x and an x. All right, and let's put an a there and a b here. Let's call this an m and this an m. Okay. Now this is for the leading coefficient, all right. So everything else going, you know, down. If we just look at the leading coefficient, which for this polynomial is here and this one's here, if you just look at the leading coefficient. Every term, or I'm sorry, every leading term has a coefficient. This one has two. This one has one. And each one has a degree. This one has a degree of two. This one has a degree of one. All right. Now there's rules that are in your outline that you can use to follow. When you have n equal to m, all right, our horizontal asymptote is a over b. When a is less than m, our horizontal asymptote is equal to 0. And when we have n, a, when n. And then when we have when n is greater than m, we don't have a horizontal asymptote. It's not available. So that's what I'm just going to say. It's not. There's no horizontal asymptote. So in this graph, I'm not going to graph it. That'll be over for another video. But just so you guys understand, for this for this graph to find your domain or vertical asymptote, set your bottom to zero. Solve. Find your value of x. Then since my exponent up top for my leading term is higher than my exponent on the bottom, there is no horizontal asymptote. All right, and we'll learn how to find the slant asymptote uh, for that in another video.